Hi, my name is Juana Zaik. Today I will be demonstrating how to make Easter eggs, the traditional Romanian way, using basically parsley um, for the patterns, and then leaves, onion leaves, and beets for the color. So Easter is a time of reflection, is a time of celebration, is a time of joy in the sense of keeping the traditions alive. Going to church and being there for the midnight service and uh, returning home and having dinner with the family. For cilantro, just stick. So these are Italian of the egg and not the top. You want to make sure that you boil them until they're well done. Fully cover the eggs. What is your name? Jack Tice. I am doing Oa in Kondayata, which is a traditional Romanian art form of dyeing Easter eggs. What do you hope participants of this event can learn? That Romanians are some of the most creative and persistent people on earth, and we've maintained this tradition for thousands of years. It's a fragile, delicate art, but it's really powerful and is deeply significant to us as a people. What is your favorite Easter tradition? Uh, probably this, o en condeyate, for sure. So, what are your names? Marta, Litka, our cultural heritage is Polish and everything that I see on this table looks very familiar and re reminds me of the things I used to make with my family as a little kid. Same here. Um, I'm from Poland, moved as a teenager, so I remember making eggs for Easter, making baskets with also other foods, uh, but coloring eggs or decorating them was a big part. As yeah. far as I remember, um, Wax was always involved in my projects. My great grandma taught me to use leftovers of candles uh, in place of Crayola crayons mm -hmm. to draw images and then dye them. And that traditional onion peel, um, grass, what else? Just all kinds of natural dyes. Natural dyes, yes. That was a big thing for me. Yeah. Thank you. We're organizing this event. This is fun. We're bringing our kids so we can continue on with the traditions. Nice. Pass them on to the next generation.